What's up dolls? Welcome back to the YouTube channel. So today is a little hair DIY project. I was not feeling the current wig color that I have right here. So I wanted to go ahead and experiment with something a little more lively and fun. So I'm gonna mix this developer with some toner to help lift the current color that's on the wig and start fresh. Now I just wanna say I'm not a hair expert. I do this for fun. This is what works for me and my wigs. So yes, just a little disclaimer, proceed with caution. So I'm just gonna voice over what I'm doing. So any of my dolls out there that like wigs as much as I do, hopefully this helps to give you an idea of how I color my hair at home. It is less expensive this way, it's more fun. I like to do this myself because it's a fun project and I can do this whenever I want. So this is the unit fully applied with the toner and you can see it's already starting to lighten up. And the goal is to get it as blonde as possible so that my hair dye sticks perfectly and we hopefully will get good results. So I am using box dye, but I'm gonna rinse this out. No shampoo, no conditioner just water and I'm going to blow dry it. I just followed the directions on the back of the die that I bought. Now I did buy three boxes. Honestly, I would have gotten a fourth one because there's so much hair and you really wanna make sure that you have more than enough dye. So I'm just gonna mix together uh, step one and step two. By the way, this is a pastel shade. And to be honest, I probably would have gone a little bit darker. As you saw in the beginning of this video, it's very subtle with the coloring, but that's okay, trial and error. Right here, I'm just mixing together all of the dyes just so it makes the process of applying it a little bit quicker and I have everything already good to go. You could also apply this with just a brush and a bowl. And of course, you wanna wear gloves because you don't want to get this stuff on your skin. And this smelled terrible. The scent was so strong, so please open up your windows to get some airflow in your home because you don't want this to just be all up in your nose and you can see that the color is already starting to develop here which was really nice i was really pleased with how quickly this was taking to the hair because we had lifted the color previously now i'm going to shampoo the unit i did it like four times and then i used the conditioner that came with my box dye and don't worry with the way that the wig is on my head right now i just plopped it on top so i could go ahead and style it what i've already done is fully blow dried the hair and then i ran my straightener through it so we could go ahead and start fresh with nice curls so i'm just curling my hair the same way that i always do with my Conair wand. I'll leave this link down below along with everything that I used in this video. Now remember when I said trial and error? Well, yes, this coloring is not exact as it showed on the box. I still like it. Instead of it being very pink, I would say it's more of like a peaches and cream type of vibe. I still think it's very fun. It goes very well with my skin tone. I wore this hair out for the first time tonight and I got so many compliments on my hair. Like it was, it was crazy. So I'm definitely happy with the results, although it wasn't exact to the box. It wasn't what I was expecting, but it's still really fun. <music> Now you dolls get to see the wig completely styled. I love the highlighted areas of the wig. It has a nice luster to it. And now I'm going to show you a method that I do to fix the fit of this wig. Now this one only had three clips, so I like to do the elastic band method. There are so many videos on YouTube that show you how to do it, but basically I sew this elastic band inside the cap structure and it was so freaking tight, oh my gosh, the whole night I had a headache. 
that's it dolls that's how I dye my wigs at home I hope you guys found this video helpful subscribe thumbs up let me know down below what color you think I should do next and I'll see you guys next time